recording. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Committed Gaming. I am Flahoot5311. And I'm Sosoy. And it is that time of the week again for our Let's Talk. This will be Let's Talk number four. And we are stupidly disappointed. We just got the Bungie update for the week. And, well, I was wrong, which I was stupidly optimistic. We are not getting any ball spit this week. I was right. You win. Um, but even after that, if the fact that I lost that bet, we I think we all, as in-game users, lost completely. Uh, oh, definitely. <laughs> their, quote, vault expansion is not even going to be helpful. So we, we're going for... So uh, right now we're sitting at... We have 20 slots for armor, 20 slots for weapons, and 20 slots for general, for your shaders, your consumables, all that kind of stuff. And guess what, folks? It's not getting much bigger. No, we're only getting four armor, four more armor to 24, four more consumable, or general to 24. We're getting, okay, so we're getting 16 weapons. We're going from 20 to 36. Our vault is going from 60 slots to 84. Okay, but seriously... They're doing this right before the House of Wolves. They are putting a band-aid on a bullet wound at this point because they are giving us 16 more weapon slots. Congratulations. We're going to have more exotic weapons and legendary weapons plus raid weapons coming from the expansion. They are literally just giving us enough space that we're going to be in the exact same spot as we are now. I don't even know. I mean, so uh, well, let's look at it this way. They talk. They they they. So they go on. They mention that that um, you know they're really pushing the limits of the memories on 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 the hard drives for the for the previous generation consoles, the the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. So much so that they are not even going to be allowing um, item preview or, or item comparisons. Um, within the vault on those two on the older generation systems that's how taxing apparently this is but i mean you don't even have to do that i mean i, I just looked at my vault a second ago i have i am using zero of my armor slots i it, that's that's 20 slots right there that i'm not even using um because i i mean i guess if i had three separate characters and i was moving you know three of the same character and i was moving stuff around maybe but i don't i have three different characters and you know i've got you know, two sets of you know radar armor from both times, the exotics, and and I'm starting to get my um, iron banner armor, and that's not going to take up all that much space. So I mean, I, I just don't understand why we why they can't all just be one giant glob of squares to to, to put into. Yeah, and I I agree. Like, if they could set it up in such a way where. It was it was one giant thing, but it like grouped them together. So like the armor was automatically grouped together, weapons were automatically grouped together, and general was automatically grouped together. Then like the the sliders just moved back and forth. You'd still have the same amount of space, but you could you could set it up the way you want it. Like you you run you have a lot of different shaders that you like to keep. You can't keep them all in your character, so you put them in the vault. So you know you have more in the general slot. Or like me, where I'm running around where I have maybe three free weapon slots in the vault, and then some of my guys are running around with maybe one or two in each weapon class. That's that's where I am. I try to keep one slot open in my in my tower, so that I'm like, oh crap, I need to get this gun. I need to be able to move it quick. You know, if we're like halfway through a raid, I'm like, oh, I don't have this. You know, I can quickly grab it that way i've at least got that one slot there i can move to um but i mean like, like you're saying all of my characters i have maybe one or two slot slots open per weapon type yeah and it's just it's the the cry like they they realize that the weapon slots are the ones that need the most uh 10 to 11 care that's why they gave us 16 instead of the the slap in the face four <laughs> I have four. I I have no. I I have I am maxed out emblems on all characters, and I am maxed out shaders on all characters. <laughs> yeah. No. I have I have the postmaster <laughs> holding on to stuff for me because I can I don't have the vault space. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, so I run each of my characters. I run um, a different faction for each. So when you know my my hunters, new monarchy, my. 
Titans Future Oracle, my Warlock's Dead Orbit. So I'm actually, you know, getting getting those shaders, luckily enough. And so, I mean, that that's four shaders right there of the nine. You know, then you throw in, you know, your Rage shaders, your Chatter White, your Cryptographic, and Glow Who. So that's, I mean, that's another seven you're sitting on right there. Let alone if you'd like anything else cool. Well, okay, then your Iron Banner, that's eight. And in your Queen Shader, that's nine. You're maxed out without ever doing anything special outside of the game. Yeah, and then you get like the the random God of War share that everyone Which is was awesome. hooked on. Yeah, and it's fantastic, and you get God of War, and then there's the oh, what is it? It's Frostfire or something like that. Uh, yeah, the, I've got one of those. I love that. I that my Warlock. Yeah, that one's really cool. And then there's there's just a bunch of other ones that are just really cool that you want to hold on to, but you know, you get them frequently enough that you just have to delete them and then hope you get it back soon enough. Yeah. Yeah, well, so, needless to say, um, we were disappointed, and, and I think it's it's and it's interesting that they are even had that this is causing such an issue as far as pushing the hardware that they had to disable weapon um, compare on the older generation consoles. That that I, I get, I'm not a developer. I have no idea, obviously, but uh, I just find that very interesting. Um, yeah, but uh, the the I can kind of understand that. Because the whole, with the older generation consoles, like I went from Xbox 360 to Xbox One like you did. And the thing is, it's you couldn't run more than one thing at one time with the, uh, the Xbox 360. It's you were, you were doing the game, or you stopped the game, and then you did something else. Like you did an application or something like that, but then if you left that application, it turned it off, and then you went and did something else. Yeah. Like it, it, wasn't, it wasn't like we the luxuries we have now where we can be running Xbox music in the background, be playing music while we're playing Destiny, and then have another game sitting in the background waiting because we're going to go hop back on that, but we didn't want to stop actually playing that and turn it off because we didn't want to have to reload the game, you know? I don't know. I guess I guess I never really, you know, use that much. The only thing I've ever really used is have is running the split screen where I watch, you know, Twitch or MLG or something on the side. But that's about it uh, on my on my snap. Yeah. But so well, well, since we're on the topic of old gen, new gen consoles, um, the, the new Star Wars Battlefront is apparently going to be designed for next gen only. Like they're not even going to try to. Um, deal with the limitations of the 360 and the P- PS3. Yeah, and I think, uh, don't quote me on this, but I think that the uh, Halo 5, they're not even touching Xbox 360. Like, it's an ex- uh, Halo has always been an Xbox exclusive, but I don't sure. even think they're going to the, the older gen consoles. I think they're just going with uh, Xbox One. So, I mean, so what are we thinking about that? I mean, now that, you know, the Xbox One has been around for two years, question mark? I think two years now, right? It's it's around there, yeah. Yeah, we're getting close. And so, um, you know, at what point do they start? Like, all right, you know, what do do developers stop saying? Look, we just cannot be, you know, have this ball and chain around our ankles of trying to dumb things down for next gen and we, or for for old generation stuff. When can we just say, all right, we're done with that? We just need to completely focus on all this new stuff and fully try to, um, you know, tap all the resources that these next gen consoles have. Yeah, actually, I think with the the previous transition from the Xbox to Xbox 360, I think they cut it off at a year. I think it was, uh, I think they only like did the dual games during the launch, and then shortly afterwards, and then they just they just cut it right off, and uh, Xbox no longer got any games, and 360 got all the games. Well, I, yeah, I never played that, so I went from 64 to 360. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my jump. I went from, I mean, I played on my buddy's PlayStations, but I never once uh, <laughs> had an Xbox or anything like that. Um, so I made a huge leap. So I, anyway, I just wanted to kind of float that out there to see, you know, what, I mean, it's it's, it's interesting how long, how much longer, you know, they're going to try to hang on to some of these consoles and before they make the big jumps on and say, all right, that's it, we're done with it. And I wonder, you know, when, what's Destiny going to do with that? Like, clearly they're having troubles working with, you know, working backwards. When are they just going to say, you know what, we're done with that. We're just going to kind of cut it off. There'll be no more, you know, you're not going to get Comet or, you know, whatever else. You're going to have to go next gen to get the next, to get the, the rest of the content. Tell you the truth, I think it's going to be somewhere somewhere soon in the future. I, I don't think they're going to be uh, dragging along for long because if they're no. already telling us in the update that the uh, the memory and the old consoles can't handle it, 
I feel like that they're just they're gonna cut it off at the knees real soon. Yeah, I think that's this that's definitely writing on the wall right there. Um, other games that we've been kind of playing, uh, I know Dragon Age. They just had an update, and their DLC just came out. Yeah, uh, I'm actually kind of excited for the DLC. I haven't actually picked it up yet. I'm planning on to uh, soon. Uh, they had an update, and it was a bunch of uh, the bunch of little things that in the game that they were fixing some uh, some uh, multiplayer stuff, and then some uh, mechanics within the actual game. They just kind of tweaked them around a bit, and I, I've noticed a few of them. Like uh, one one of your characters has the ability to bring fallen enemies back from the dead to fight for you, and the nice. uh, and one of the things the problems with it was after the fight was done he still had so the the guy you brought back still has so much life left so he'd just be standing around and then the loot he would normally be dropping he, he wouldn't drop until he died <laughs> so you would have to like stand around there and wait for him to die so you could actually pick up the loot that's funny but now with the update which i noticed uh actually from playing the game is that as soon as the fight is done and all of your companions put their weapons away the guy instantly dies and the loot drops on the ground so that uh, that takes that headache away and it was it was a bunch of that kind of stuff well that's cool and then the jaws of hakar which looks pretty sleek all, all i know is i just watched the preview and i don't play dragon he's about saw the, the the trailer for it. it looks like they just went and borrowed some destiny glow who shaders and put them on hammers and swords which looks pretty sweet yeah, I'm actually curious about how they're, how they're getting away with that one since you're actually wielding weapons that are glowing in the trailer. So I'm curious about that one. So I'm actually kind of excited for it. And speaking of Bioware, uh, segue to the new Mass Effect. There, there are some leaked, uh, not leaked though. There's some of the guys who are working on the on the game tweeted out some images. It looks like they're working on some, you know with people walking around with like movement sensors it looks like they're working on some movement mechanics and whatnot so it looks like mass effect 4 is well underway i actually went back this week and played a little bit of mass effect 3 uh, multiplayer which i've never played before but another guy on our fire team we were so burned out of after iron banner for playing it for a week straight <laughs> oh man we were so fried we decided you know what let's just go we th- we're gonna start talking about mass effect we jump back into our 360 and played a little bit of that it was pretty fun yeah, I can imagine it would be. I kind of want to go back and get Mass Effect 3 and play it, but then I'd, I'd feel like I'd be as if I hopped into Halo 4 and then just trying to recap and figure out what the hell happened before this to lead me to this point. And I, I'm a big story guy, so I feel like if I even started to delve into it, I'd have to go back and buy all the games and replay them all so I could actually figure it all out. Well, what's interesting about the Mass Effect games, one of the reasons why I absolutely love it, and because um, like decisions you make in the first game uh, affect how your game plays in the next one, like affects like whose characters you have, like who do you have to add to your team, you know, and and, and how people talk to you and, and notice you and recognize you. So, I mean, so you've got three games worth of decisions built up in your character where everything affects the other one, which I always thought was really cool. Um, but speaking of Halo, hot another segue. You you've started you started uh, getting on that hype wagon for Halo Five, which I never played Halo, but I watched the trailer for that little thing you did, and that looks freaking sweet. Oh, I'm so excited! I I grew up a Halo nut job. I loved Halo. We always just go over my uh, my grandparents' house, and they had an Xbox in the basement. And all my cousins would get together, and all we do is play Halo the entire time we were there, and it was it's so much fun. And uh, yeah, Halo Five. I'm I'm super stoked. They are now doing a audio series on a reporter doing uh, a section on Master Chief's backstory and the in depth in the the entire storyline and the cover ups and all this kind of stuff. And they're 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 leading at that he might be a traitor or people yeah. are calling him a traitor and I'm I'm really curious about what what's going to develop in that. Yeah, I mean, it, it's going to be interesting. Cause I ha- I have no idea what the storyline is. I just know that everybody loves Master Chief and okay. so he's yeah, a, no Master Chief. He's a you know big old space Spartan. And he's supposed to be like the big savior of the universe, but um, with the flip side of that bullet says traitor, right? Now they're going to try to find the the flip side of the story. I'm curious if we're going to have a bunch of Halo people just jumping off a bridge if they make him a bad guy. Oh, God. They they had people jumping off a bridge when they killed Cortana. Uh, <laughs> I swear. It, it was it was 
perfectly laid out because <laughs> people were in an uproar because Cortana died, and it was the first game that spoiler alert Bungie... by the way. I didn't know Cortana died. I don't know who Cortana is, but apparently it's a spoiler of some sort. <laughs> <laughs> No, if, if you're watching this and you actually love Halo, you know exactly what happened. Uh, but it was crazy because the, Bungie had just handed over the Halo universe to 343 Industries. And the first thing they do is <laughs> kill the, one of the most favorite characters <laughs> in the entire series. And then, and then at the end of the game, they... They have a uh, notification at the end saying, thanks for letting us uh, uh, take part in your universe, and we hope we don't mess things up too much for you and stuff like that. And it's like, you're you're messing with me. Come on. (laughs) Hope we didn't screw up your game, by the way. We just killed people who were major characters. Yeah, you know, no problem. (laughs) Buy the next game. Buy the next game, see what happens. Maybe we bring her back to life. All righty. Well, I think that's about it. Uh, we'll have um, an annotation on the screen there for um, Soul Slayer's uh, video series on that. And also, we'll have an annotation on the screen here for Iron Banner 6 review, and our kind of our, we give our thoughts on that. Um, we both did a lot of time on that, so feel free to check that out. Uh, leave any comments you guys have about the, um, the Bungie update and Halo 5 coming up. Let us know what you'd like to see. And um, I think that'll about wrap it up. So, um, I'm Flute5311. And I'm Soul Slayer. And all you gamers out there, stay committed.